Hi everyone. I love K-pop and fashion and love watching vids like this so I decided to make one with my own opinion. I asked subscribers for theirs too but I ultimately chose alone when considering styling I am thinking of their hair, makeup, and outfits throughout the whole era including stages but not including variety shows or anything. It's all in good fun and really it's nothing personal against the stylist or the groups finally, these are only for groups I know well enough to have a grasp of each of their eras. Sadly, this doesn't include every single girl group. Blackpink Best Kill this love. I personally love all these hair choices a lot. I think it was good for giving each member a distinct look that was signature to them. I adore these outfits in the music video as well as the red outfits on stage. The outfits in the bear trap are a little weird but overall don't ruin the styling this era for me. Coachella also counts in this era. Don't know what to do also had nice clothes. Worst. Lovesick girls. I think this may be a controversial opinion. I really think that lovesick girls had very messy clothes considering it is their latest comeback. No outfits stuck with me in a good way except Rose's plaid look. I think every ensemble looks like random boring things thrown together to make a weird outfit. This is especially weird since How You Like That had pretty cohesive and unique clothes that looked fancy. The clothes in lovesick girls are none of these things. It doesn't even make sense with the overall concept either. One upside is the hair. I love Rose with pastel pink hair and Jenny with bangs. But seriously, I would literally not want to wear a single outfit from this era. Many people said playing with fire or as if it's your last are the worst but they're at least full looks that I like there. CLC best. No oh oh. This may also be controversial as many people feel that the new CLC is overall a lot better than the old CLC and no OO doesn't have any particularly killer looks. However, I really love the outfits in no OO. I think they look comfortable, fresh, but still unique. I think the looks are ideal for the concept. Everyone is dressed differently but nicely. Some fits could be better though. No Era is a very close second but I don't like Yujin's little bangs and I think they snubbed Seung Hee with all her outfits so I can't bring myself to say it's the very best. Worst. Like. Although the concept is cohesive, the fit of every single outfit is dreadful. None of them are something someone would really want to wear. Almost nothing is done as far as hairstyling for the stages. Only Yujin gets unique clothes that don't look like leftovers from another girl's outfit. CLC generally have nice clothes. So this era is a standout in how bad it is. Dreamcatcher. Best. Odd eye. Every member is dressed uniquely with a unique hairstyle to make them stand out. The makeup is very nice and the clothes fit the concept while still being comfortable and diverse from each other. Boca is a super close second because I do love those outfits but blonde cyan and silver haired Yuyin are superior. Worst. Chase Me, Dreamcatcher's styling is usually quite good. For a debut era, Chase Me is shockingly boring. Even compared to Goodnight just months later. All the stages involve a color variation of this robe thing. I suppose it's supposed to look like a kimono or something but it does not. The members also all have long dark hair. I loved Chase Me but I struggled to tell members apart in the music video when it came out and I didn't know them yet. Everglow. Best. Done done. This era was quite gorgeous. I loved the sparkle and the asymmetry. Basically every outfit flattered the member who wore it. The hair was all nice, I like that Everglow seems to lean into signature looks for each member. I do like many of La De Da's outfits but they also have some clunkier looking misses that I just can't ignore. Worst. Bon Bon Chocolate. While the unique red school girl looks were great, the other looks were not. Nothing is particularly terrible but, compared to their other eras, this one comes off as the messiest to me. EXID. Best. DDD I love every styling choice here. As a long time fan of EXID, I love all their hairstyle changes. But I didn't expect to find my favorite hair on all of them in the same era. Honey with pink hair is particularly spectacular. I love how sleek, simple, yet unique the outfits feel. 
EXID's styling has always been quite good at this though, I don't have complaints about any of their clothes overall. If it weren't for the amazing hair and makeup I'd really be struggling to pick my favorite. I honestly could understand someone claiming any EXID era as their fave styling. Worst. As I said, all EXID styling is pretty good. However, the outfits in Aya were quite boring. At least other eras gave each member a variation of a main outfit. Aya was literally the same outfit. Maybe with some crop top variation but that's it. I also don't like the color of blonde they gave Hyren. F, X. Vest. Red light. Honestly the half makeup half bare face alone is very impressive. The outfits on stage are very cool too and, at this time, it was a bit more rare to see girls in cargo pants and suits. Blonde crystal and red haired amber are great too. There are a few boring outfits but overall the concept comes through and it was quite a staple for F, X. I must say I also really love the clothes in four walls. Worst. New ABO. Just horrific. I can't believe these hairstyles. They're all like the least cool of the scene kids in middle school. Nothing fits well. Nothing makes sense. I'm so sorry that SM filmed y'all looking like this. Friend. Best. Crossroads. All of 2020 has given us phenomenal friend looks. However, I personally feel every single outfit in Crossroads is a hit. Literally all of them. Nothing is out of place. The looks make sense, they seem comfortable and unique and they fit the concept. It's somehow edgy and fresh at the same time. Maybe a few are a bit clunky but that's about it. I love Yunha with short pink hair so much. The beauty of black-haired Yirin and ponytail Yaju is fully realized too. Even though they sometimes give Umji the ugly narrow bangs she hand during debut, I will forgive it because her outfits are so great. Although I do appreciate Apple and Fever especially for the makeup and wish the Crossroads concept allowed for that heavier and more thematic style. Worst. Glass bead. All of Gfriend's styling is actually quite good. So glass bead is boring in comparison. Nothing stands out about it at all to me. Like Dreamcatcher's flaws in debut, they all have similar hair and wear the same clothes. It really doesn't help us get to know the members at all. G, I, D, L, E. Best. Oh. This is when idol styling really started to get its footing. It's when Minnie got her bangs. It's when Soyin cut her hair short. It also happens to have some of the most variation between each member's outfit while still being cohesive which I like. The streetwear fits the concept well and most are outfits that I love and remember. They still come off as unique to me. My fave outfits ever for them are the red ones from their performance of Lion but the other Lion outfits are also messy so it's not my fave. Worst. Senorita. I hate all of these. They don't look good to dance in even. The ruffles are too busy and too top-heavy especially when matched with wavy long hair. The clothes barely make sense for the Latin vibe and seem heavy and cluttered. Girls' Generation The boys The rise of this unique military glam style. Every member looks unique and looks good. All of these hairstyles are iconic and many became their signature look after this. I personally really love the styling in Mr. MR since everyone looks amazing but the outfits are a bit boring overall especially since every member wears the same thing. The Lionheart era is also very good especially if we include you think outfits but ultimately it's not quite as memorable. Worst. Holiday. Terrible accessories. Outdated fashion. Horrible fit. The outfits are like rejected red velvet rookie outfits. For a 10-year anniversary, putting them in these ill-fitting eyesores is so sad. They deserve so much better. The only saving grace is Hiwaiian's beautiful hair. When I asked, many people said G was the worst but I disagree. G suits the age and vibe at the time and although the outfits are boring, they aren't ugly. ITZY. Best. Dala Dala. I love all these outfits. They're cool, go well together, 
and unique for each member. I also think these hairstyle choices are nice. Yuna with red hair is so good. There are lots of memorable looks here. I like the hair in Mafia as well but the outfits don't stand out as much to me. Worst. Not shy. It's quite mismatched both in style and color. Very few looks actually match the fun country concept. Some looks are nice but the main ones aren't great except for Ryajin's outfits. It isn't terrible but compared to their other eras it's just okay. Oh my girl. Best. Non-stop. Oh my girl has had some amazing styling lately. Non-stop is the next level. Even when the teasers just came out I could tell it would be amazing. The hair colors and styles are great for the members. I like that everyone has a unique style too. The clothes all fit well and match the whimsical summer vibe. The heavy lidded makeup on Mimi is so nice. Worst. Coloring book. These clothes have similar issues to what I said about SNSD in Holiday. They're nicer than Holiday outfits but still have some issues with the fit of the skirts. The top halves are nice but the bottoms are like misshapen tutus and the ruffled socks definitely don't help this. Even in this nice plaid look, the socks make it weird to me. Red Velvet Best Bad Boy So many of these outfits are extremely memorable and fashionable. The hair choices are spectacular. The makeup is absolutely gorgeous. I remember thinking Red Flavor was their best styling. Then I thought it was Peekaboo. Then Bad Boy came out and they only made it better. Psycho had nice but limited clothes even though the makeup was great. Worst. Zimzalabim. Duh. Just horrible and messy. It's like the not shy clothes if they all fit badly and looked cheap too. The hairstyling isn't even good. I really don't know what happened with this era. Compared to all the great styling eras I named before, this was a notable drop in effort. Twice. Best. I can't stop me. These hair choices are some of the best for each member. The outfits are cohesive and every single one of them is gorgeous except these denim outfits but I'll let it slide because the grey versions look better. The styling is very consistent across stages, all having a sophisticated and crisp vibe yet no outfits are the same. If you include Cry For Me and award show stages, this era only pushes further above the rest. I honestly really enjoyed every era of styling for twice since Fancy though. I think they've really had some notable outfits since then. Worst. Heartshaker. These outfits are quite boring. They aren't bad but white shirts and skinny jeans aren't particularly inspired. Unless they were literally inspired by Girls' Generation G which is possible. Even so, they should not be the main outfit. They do fit nicely and none of these outfits are terrible but they're certainly the least interesting. More and more, Dance the Night Away, and even Yes or Yes had some weird choices, but at least I took note of the clothes while watching the stages. With Heartshaker, none stood out to me. Even Likey, which also used casual and simple clothes, created much nicer looks. Wakey Makey. Best. This was the hardest choice of all for me. I love a lot of Wakey Makey's styling. Instinctively, I wanted to choose Picky because I just love that era altogether and when I picture the members I picture them as they looked at that time. However, I am so in love with the outfits in Crush era. I would literally wear them all if I could. But, the more I think about it, the best era of styling is probably cool. Although I don't love the individual outfits as much, every stage has looks that match the theme and match each other. They truly look so so cool. I also adore the hairstyling choices especially on Suyin, Doyeon, and of course Lua. Short hair Lua really pushes both oopsie and cool up a notch styling wise. It's genius. It's inspired. It's art. Anyways, Wakey Makey literally has some of the best styling of any group I can think of. I love it. Worst. I don't like your girlfriend. Compared to their usually stellar styling, this is boring. The oversized jerseys are not flattering or unique. The girls don't really get to show their personal style or personality which is too bad considering it's their debut. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tell me your fave and least fave eras for styling for this group and more groups you love. 
Please like this video I worked hard on it. See you later.